on Real 16 TV. It's Cuz OP here back with another reaction. This time I'm reacting to Trap Lord Ross. King Von was trying to kill FB Duck for, FBG Duck for years. He was a trophy. That shit is wild to read, but we're going to go ahead and start the screen recording and see what they're talking about. Video playing now. Duck gets killed a few months before King Von gets killed. And you put Duck on this list of Von's victims. So, was it seven people that got arrested over the FPG Duck murder? Seven people implicated. Bro, like One Harry of Potter. them was dead before the arrest started. Right. That was out. Killed himself, right? Yeah. That's what they say. Mm -hmm. I know. I actually have got a little short video coming on him, so I know a lot about that situation, so I can, I can talk about that, but yeah. Okay. Not bad. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and share. Bro, look like Harry Potter. We're going to continue. It might not be that relevant. Too bad. Okay. I'm so, unfortunate for the ultimately, that the happened. trial happens with the Old Black Six. They were all found guilty. They haven't been sentenced on this date, but from what I understand, these are mandatory life sentences. Now, from what I understand, one of the guys whose girlfriend Duck was sleeping with called up the other guys and said, oh, Duck is out here, he pulled out a gun on me, he's chasing me around, and then mm -hmm. they all posse up and then they go and kill him. It was teasy, yeah. Teasy, exactly. How does this tie into King Von putting money on his head? And if that's really the case, how come that never came up in trial on any level? There's a lot of stuff I'm surprised it didn't come up in trial. So you know the Took Her to the O video? The music video of the Took Her to the O by yeah. King Von? Hmm. In that video, he's got an actor playing FBG Duck that he kills on camera and leaves dead in the street. Now, I cannot str I say that's wild. How do you know for sure that was FBG Duck? I'm gonna have to rewatch that video because I'm like, how do you know for sure that was like an extra being FBG Duck? This in the video, and I've said this so many times, I cannot stress enough to people. How crazy is it that this guy made a music video in February 2020, February 2020, where he depicted himself killing FBG Duck? He says, he says a big goofy dude of missed calls on the phone to say Duck. He says Duck. The guy looks like he's killing Duck in a music video, and. Six months later, Duck's dead in the street, laid out exactly the same way. I do a side by side of. Mm -hmm. They left Duck the way that Duck was in the. Uh, took her to the O music video, right? Yeah, but. I just want to throw out there. Like, when niggas be like, remember when Boosie said people die in this city? He said, I remember Duck saying it, because I used to watch his interviews too when they first came out. He said, I don't feel like moving my, from my city because I moved too strategic. And. He was moving real strategic for a real long time, but he obviously at the end of the day still proved the point that you probably should go ahead and get the fuck out of your city after a minute because it's like the people, anybody that doesn't really fuck with you, even if it's just like people, just, people, even if it's not nothing violent, people just don't like you, you know what I'm saying? You probably shouldn't be around that shit. After a while, it's going to get to you, whether it's to his extent or to a minimal extent. I feel like people don't realize how crazy that is. So. Duck and Von have been going back and forth for years, right? Yes. There'd been these rumors that, you know, way, way, way back, like Duck had like beaten up Von on the school bus or something. Right. Like, well, and there was also Duck dropped <laughs> the Dead Bitches video right before he got killed. But he said he beat up Von too. All the old black guys who were dead. T Roy specifically. T Roy specifically, friend. and you know, King Von guys. was calling himself V Roy yeah. on his Twitter. That was how close those two were. They were best friends. You know, T Roy taught King Von how to how to move in the streets. You know, they were best friends. You know, he was going by V Roy. T Roy was sort of infamous as you know the big killer for O Block during that period. But the thing is, the thing with Duck, just like Ki, it was personal. They were going back and forth for years. Like Von and them had been trying to kill Duck for years. And to be honest, Duck was the trophy. And it, you know, you even said it yourself in that interview. Like, but you told Duck that he should have moved out of Chicago, man. It's, twice. it's tragic that he didn't. But twice. it's like. That's why I, I remember those. I remember each time he said something to him about moving and he kept saying like, I moved too strategic, I'll be okay. And I felt him, but then it just felt like, I ain't gonna lie, niggas with the FBG on their name either started disappearing or going to jail. Like, yeah. And then I really he believe really they were blackballed the where they couldn't he get the in. So from like, I'm like, the man. Biggest guy from he I, the biggest I kinda listen to them. I ain't really listen to the dead though. bitches. I don't think there's anybody they could have killed that would have made them happy. I listen to, I ain't gonna lie, I listen to more old black and people in that um, The real it's unfortunate true. case is it seems that Von got on and was making millions through his music, or at least hundreds of thousands at this point, and he was putting that money back in the streets. He's on video going back to O Block giving everybody cash. Now, look, I don't think I don't think that cash was going into uh, into into stocks and bonds. Okay, I don't know where that cash that Von was breaking down for the gang. Let's be honest. 
they young and dumb. They was probably smoking weed and going to strip clubs. There's only two things you do, get high, trick it off. That's really that's really all they was planning on doing, you know what I'm saying? Once you take care of the amenities, I got a car, I got a crib, you know what I'm saying? Everything else is taken care of. I can travel if I want to. At that point, it start becoming either high or tricking it off or a combination of the two. In the hood was going, but like, you know, a trade on giving money to gang. a girl he because you like he loved her. rapping about it, he loved but rapping about murder. Not for like a real relationship. Mon seemed more happy when paying you to be he found out Duck was dead than having a hit song, to be honest with you. Like, that's just the impression that I get from his music, the way that he acted. You know, there's that clip of him, he's in a designer store with one of the guys from Oblog, and it's like two days after Duck's dead, and he's like, ain't no more FBG. And he's like, Angus. Like, he's like, guess that Duck's dead. And like, mm. everyone in the comments saying, Duck's dead. You know, even before Duck, I think maybe like a couple weeks before Duck died, Von's on Instagram live singing Slide, and like Duck's song making fun of him, and just being like, yeah, he's goofy, like, yeah, fuck this guy. Like, it was so personal, I don't think there's anything Von... I think Von having a platinum record was like a drop in the ocean compared to how great he must have felt trying to kill FBG Duck. Ten years they've been looking for FBG Duck. I ain't gonna lie, I'm glad this man got paid for doing like all these documentaries, but from being just intrigued and being a fan to like damn near being the reason why people think of this man in a certain type of way is a crazy evolution especially since he claimed that he started off as a rapper g duck these guys that's how i feel okay but why did this not come up in trial i don't how think come, it needed to know, all six guys nobody said this guy who's now dead put up this money and that I yeah. guess it doesn't really help you. That's true. If one was alive, and, and by the looks of it, motherfuckers is telling on dead people for sure. That's like, that is happening, especially since FBG Bud was the first one. It was like Chicago. People were telling on dead people, so you would think they would go ahead and say it was Vaughn if somebody needed to get out of trouble. For a hit, I guess doesn't really say, oh, okay, well, you're free to go then. If Vaughn was alive, I think they would have thrown all of that in there, but I think because he was gone, and they had him on, on camera, so it's like, you know, when it comes to the feds, it's like, well, we've got all this kind of conjecture stuff going on here. They had them all on camera doing that shit, going back to their, going from their homes to the murder and then back. They didn't need any of that stuff. It was cut and dry. Just, just that surveillance footage kind of mm. did the job. So I don't think they needed that. I think if Von was alive, bro, the Von tweeted a goat emoji. Like we're talking like 30, 40 minutes after Doc was killed, and then he's just tweeting all of this cryptic stuff that's like, you know, it's over with. You know, ain't no more FBG. I think he was just so gassed. Mm. Uh, and to me, like the real nastiest example is that two days before Von died, or maybe one day before Von died, he's in that interview with DJ Academics, and Academics is like, oh, you know, what do you think about FBG Duck? And he's like, man, I couldn't sleep at night after that happened, man, you know? And he's trolling, and then he's like, hang on a second, he's, he's laughing, laughing okay, you can hear him laughing. Like, you can see BJ in the back, like, like for a second, for a split second in that, that video, like, and, you know, he starts eating cereal out the box. Like, that, that is just, that's psychopath behavior. You said eating the cereal is eluding. I don't know. I, I'm gonna put it like this. I'm not saying that he's not a psychopath, but I also, I feel like if you put yourself in the shoes of another person to be like, well, these motherfuckers was fucking with my friends and shit too, or like you said, beat them up on the school bus. Why the fuck would I care if something happened to you? That doesn't necessarily mean I'm involved. I just don't give a fuck that something happened to you. But I ain't gonna lie, the goat emoji is kind of like... Tim being a serial killer? Yeah, he had a bunch of tweets as well, like years ago, back when I don't he was think catching tweet, the body, I tweet saying, I shit, don't mean shit eat some cereal. And he, I used to have these tweets where he'd be like, I don't think you understand how much I love cereal. Now, uh, to be honest, like, look, that's not proof that he's a serial killer by any means. But I just feel like the guy kept making these little references to cereal. And there was always rumor, like, this is a funny thing, right? People are like, oh, I can't believe Traveler Ross put the jacket serial killer on Vaughn. Watch the first five minutes of that video, of that, that documentary, and I play a clip of academics saying, I think Von might be a serial killer from way back. So I'm, I'm not even the first person who said it. Von had ops. I can't remember who it was, but there's someone in an interview that's like one of Von's ops, and they're doing an IG Live, and they're like, they're like, bro, Von was damn near a serial killer. Like, we were terrified of Von pulling up. So it's like, that had already been said, so it's not like I was like, came up with the whole serial killer thing. Like, Axe said it before me. There's a stream that predate my video where Axe going, damn, Von might be a serial killer. So... It's kind of like, uh, sorry, I lost my thread there, but yeah, that's, that's kind of how I see it. Well, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I think, <clears throat> I, don't, I don't think he's necessarily a serial, a serial killer. I just think that nigga was high off the life. I think, like, the accolades, like I said, I feel like where we from, if you got good grades, you got bitches, right? <laughs> if you got somewhere else, you, where they're from, you shoot niggas, 
you get bitches. Somewhere else, New York, you got fashion, you get bitches. Everywhere, like, it, everywhere is, like, based off of, like, ha I'm using the get bitches thing because, like, dudes do stuff for girls. So, like, how a person act becomes off the girls. So, like, I'm going to say, like, up there, a nigga must have started killing shit. Somebody acted like he was the man. Then that became the thing. You kill shit, you the man, and shit like that. So, I think if you're trying to be looked at, like, the top dog and all that stuff, I don't know if it's necessarily a serial killer or narcissistic, I'm the best, or we the best, you know what I'm saying? Because he wasn't killing, he wouldn't just kill one of his friends, he probably would if they, like, but he wouldn't just kill one of his friends, He he's not just killing, like, random people, he's killing a select group of people, like, if I don't like mice, I got mice all over my crib, I don't like mice, he dehumanized a select a very select group of people. I, I don't know if that makes him necessarily a serial killer, or he, if not, he's just dehumanizing people. According to your research, at least that's what I think. Did not kill anybody, or was it just songs? I've not seen any evidence that, like, I've not seen any any kind of theory or anything that Duck could kill people. I understood that he shot people, and that he was definitely involved. His brother FBG Brick, who obviously was killed by essentially Von's friends, by the looks of it. Um, yeah, that, that murder's still unsolved, but obviously Duck's mother's saying that maybe there's going to be some updates. There's a lot of rumors that maybe some of the people were known people from O, o Block or 600 that aren't even alive anymore. But, um, you know, I forgot story, I did, Duck's shit. mother even says, like, Brick was really in the streets like that. Duck was in doing shit and shooting people. But as far as I know, Duck hadn't killed anyone. But he was, before Ruger did GD's anthem, Duck was the face of the GD's in Chicago. Yeah. So... Basically, they just shot this man because he looked like he was the most important thing. But I ain't gonna lie to you, that that whole shit was kind of crazy because I remember the song. But the reason why it was so easy to keep up with all that shit was DJ Academics, Trap Lord Ross. It's easy. They're, you can ask anybody and they can give you the basic knowledge of this damn beef and how they feel about Vaughn and all that stuff. But I don't think I don't think trying to live up to a lifestyle they're like they live in a lifestyle where Al Capone and all them people were there were they necessarily serial killers or were they like they like was living their life to to what it, I don't know they was playing within the rules of their parameters I'm not saying that the, a motherfucker should move to Chicago and get into involved with all the blah 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 but if you grew up there and that's how it was it's hard it's hard to not see it being like I'm gonna be like some people that came before because the this the shit in Chicago been happening for like literally since Al Capone. They have never not had shit like that in Chicago, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Chicago got like the most paid police out of like all police. Like well not like saying they still get paid off, but they got like the history for the most paid off police. So like I'm just saying that. But go ahead and like, subscribe, share, continue to fuck with me, holler at me, bye.